Hello peasants to YouTube, welcome to another That's Just Joe video, my name is Joe and that's about it, and also Ben Affleck's no longer in Aquaman 2, what, what, what's going on? So Aquaman 2's just recently had its test screening, or a screening of the film, and uh, yeah, Affleck is no longer returning as Bruce Wayne slash Batman in that film. So Jason Momoa posted this photo, apart from the little Batman picture in the corner, uh, a couple of months ago during the reshoots of Aquaman 2, seemingly confirming that Ben Affleck is returning as Bruce Wayne slash Batman in Aquaman 2. A cameo, post credit scene, we don't know. Um, but there has been a few rumours during that period, actually, that the studio were not happy with Michael Keaton, who is returning as Batman Bruce Wayne in The Flash, um, coming out June 16, 2023, hopefully. Um, and uh, they wanted Ben Affleck back as the main DC timeline Batman, you know, the Nick Fury of the DC world, this DC world. Well, sounds like that's not true. Uh, the whole reason for this reshoot... Uh, was because of release dates. So Aquaman 2 was actually originally supposed to come out before The Flash. I think it was supposed to come out this November, actually, just gone. And uh, yeah, Affleck would have starred in the film. But they did shoot a version of the same scene with Michael Keaton, um, but that was if the Aquaman 2 went out after The Flash. And obviously, looking at the current release schedule... The Flash is happening before Aquaman 2, so Aquaman 2 should have the Michael Keaton scene. But I'm not quite sure if that's still happening. And the reason I say that is because all this information comes from Twitter user My Time to Shine Hello, who has confirmed that Aquaman 2 screened and no Ben Affleck in it. Um, they've also replied to a tweet from the DC Syndicate saying, let me tell you something very important to you all. Don't overreact to test screening results, even if it is extremely positive or negative. Test screening results are not final product. By the way, it looks like they screened an older cut, so don't expect much change from the last one. And then My Time to Shine Hello um, <laughs> replied, it wasn't an older cut, and that's not how it works, which is very true, I completely agree. Uh, they probably shot that scene with Affleck in case movie comes out before Flash, but not that out now, that is coming out after, so they kept Keaton and removed Affleck. Um, every time there's a new test screening, it's for a new cut. They're not going backwards, which is very true. Why would they do that? There's no, there's nothing, there's no reason to do that. There's, there's no clarity in that. So, yeah, bullshit. Um, obviously, my time to shine. Hello has replied to a few tweets as well, you know, just kind of confirming stuff, people, people's questions. Um, he also, they also gave a little update saying there was no Bruce in it at all and they changed stuff around so he is no longer necessary to the plot. So that means Michael Keaton's Batman, sorry, Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne or Affleck's Bruce Wayne are not in the film. So Bruce Wayne does not make a guest appearance anymore. Um, again, go back to the replies. Uh, oh, yeah, same screen time for Amber Heard. I think it was about 10 minutes, to be honest. Um, also, someone asked, is it true Volko got completely cut from the movie? And they confirmed uh, he was never in the movie. So that's Willem Dafoe's character. Um, so, yes, yeah, some, some interesting updates. So what this seemingly confirms to me is that, yeah, it's, it was just a date thing. I originally thought, oh, God, they're really getting rid of Michael Keaton as Batman from the you know, timeline. I was quite nervous, to be honest, because I was really looking forward to that uh, film and what happens after. I thought it was an interesting concept. Uh, but to hear that they did these reshoots <laughs> with one of the biggest actors in the world, just in case the release dates get shifted, uh, is actually a pretty smart move, to be honest. But also, Bruce is not in the film at all. Um, and I think that's fine, because we're going to have a wild time with The Flash. We're going to see Affleck as Batman again. We're going to see Michael Keaton <gasps> return as Batman. I'm very excited for The Flash movie, apart from Esme Miller, you piece of shit. Um, uh, but Aquaman 2, I'm looking forward to as well. I'm very interested to see where they're going to go with the character. The first movie was, god damn, it was so good. Um, so yeah, so I'm not into the whole controversy like you know everyone shouting at each other saying we saw the Snyderverse like it's still going on guys the Snyderverse exists Man of Steel is the starting point for this Zack Snyder is the reason we are still following the, some of these characters like Aquaman and Wonder Woman and Affleck's Batman he is the reason he is left now he has moved on he's doing Rebel Moon with Netflix just leave him to it and uh, yeah, we can continue the Snyderverse without the main man, uh, but it's his vision that helped us build this world of the DC. But anyway, I want to know your thoughts. Were you disappointed with this news that 
you know, Ben Affleck's not going to appear in Aquaman 2, or you like me and just like, well, he's going to be in The Flash, which comes out before Aquaman 2. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> it slips up in my words. And may the force be with you. It's the wrong film. Thank you.